Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science. And before we start our solution step by step, please subscribe on the channel and like this video. Now, let's go for our question. Determine the force in members IJ, EJ, and CD of the Howard truss and state if the members are in tension or in compression. So, before we start analyzing our members, we're going to find our reaction at G. So here, I'm going to do the sum of moments about A is equal to zero. And here, I'll have 12G minus 2 times 12 minus 10 times 4 minus 8 times 4 minus 6 times 6 minus 4 times 5 and then minus 2 times 5 3 times 5 sorry so here I have 12 G is equal to 162 G is equal to 13.5 kilo newtons. Before we move on, we have to find some special angles. Here will be our angle alpha, and here will be our angle theta. So if we pay attention here for our angle alpha, tangent of alpha is equal to 4 over 6 and then we can discover that sine of alpha is equal to 0 0.555 and cosine of alpha is 0 0.832 for our theta tangent of theta is equal to 4 over 2 and here sine of theta we have 0 0.894 and cosine of theta is equal to 0 0.447. Now we can move on with our question. Now we're going to analyze our forces here. Thank you. It's color. Here we have our force j i here is our force e j and pointing here is our force e d so here is our angle alpha and here is our angle alpha our reaction g of 13.5 kilonewtons so first, I'm going to find the member FJI doing the sum of moments about point E. So the sum of moments about point E is equal to zero. So here I have 13.5 times 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 4 times 2 plus our Fij cosine of alpha times 8 over 3 is equal to 0. 8 over 3 because this triangle here, our triangle I, sorry, I, G, E is, has a height so the height of the triangle is two thirds of the height of the triangle J D G. Now we know that our F I J cosine of alpha eight thirds is equal to minus thirty eight. So our F I J it's equal to minus 
13 so our f i j is equal to minus 17.1 so kilonewtons so if it's minus we know that is in compression now using that result we can find our other two forces so here our f ij force ej and f d e so now i'm gonna use some of forces in y direction is equal to zero so here i have 13.5 hour reaction in g minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 plus f i j sine of alpha plus f e j sine of theta is equal to zero so don't forget that we have our angle theta here and here we have our angle alpha so i have our f e j is equal to 10 minus 13.5 minus minus 17.13 sine of alpha divided by sine of theta so our f e j is equal to 6.71 kilo newtons since it's positive we have tension now we're gonna do the sum of forces in x direction is equal to zero here we have f d e plus f e j cosine of theta plus f i j cosine of alpha is equal to zero so here our f d e is equal to minus 6.71 cosine of theta minus minus 17.13 cosine of alpha so our f d e is equal to minus 11.25 kilonewtons in compression but our question is interest to find our force cd so now we're gonna use our joint d so here is our joint d here i have a force jd here i have my force d e and here i have my force c d so if i do the sum of forces in x is equal to zero i know that f c d minus f d e is equal to zero so our f c d is equal to minus 11.25 kilonewtons in compression as well so we finalized another exercise thanks for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you